All right, so welcome back guys to part four of the Cartoon House modeling series. So in this part we're going to go ahead and start creating the um, roof for the house. And again, there are many different ways that you can go ahead and do this, but we're going to carry on using um, the technique that I use most of the time, which is we're going to go ahead and reuse the mesh that we already have. Okay. So what we're going to go ahead and do is basically the curvature of the roof is pretty much the same as the um, base for our house. So we could go ahead and create a new plane and move that around, okay, and start uh, moving the vertices around to wrap it around this mesh. But instead what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and use this base mesh to extrude or to get the extra faces off that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this um, base mesh for our house and then I'm going to go ahead and unsmooth it and we're going to go ahead and get rid of um, these extra edges that we don't and need um, to select because if we leave them in we're going to have to go ahead and select all these little faces okay so it's a lot easier for us just to go ahead and go into edge mode okay and just quickly get rid of these um, supporting edges that we don't need. So I'm just going to quickly go around this and um, get rid of these supporting edges like so. Okay, and I left one out here and one there. Okay, and there we go. So let's go ahead and select the faces that I want our roof to be. So I'm going to go ahead and select these faces. Okay. And now basically all we need to go ahead and do is we need to go ahead and break this um, connection so break this mesh up because I only need these faces okay so let's go ahead and what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and just duplicate the face okay so in the edit mesh panel I'm going to go ahead and hit duplicate and as you can see this will go ahead and put it into a group with a transform node and two poly surfaces okay so what we're going to go ahead and do in our outliner we're going to go ahead and select the poly surface 2 which is our actual roof and there you go so now what i'm going to go ahead and do is i want to go ahead and get rid of this because i don't need that anymore so let's go ahead and delete that but now you notice that we still have all this stuff in here and the reason for that is because the history is not deleted and so on so i'm going to go ahead and select this whole um group node and then go to modify or edit so go to edit and then go to edit did it all by type history Okay, this will get rid of our history, but our group node is still there. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of that because I don't want this to be part of this group. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and press shift P on my keyboard. And now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that group node by pressing delete. So now we have our um, mesh that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and zero back out or translate Y. Oh, probably it wasn't zero but let's go ahead and undo that okay and then let's go ahead and drag this to the place that we need now we should have done this a little bit differently we should have moved it and then that way it should have been a lot easier for us to go ahead and move this into a right place if you go ahead and zero out the x though that should um or give it the same coordinate that this has so our x is minus that so i'm just going to go ahead and pop that in here as well and that will line it up okay and now i'm just going to go ahead and push this down okay so there is a base for our roof now let's go ahead and give this some uh <coughs> change this up a little bit by going ahead and selecting these um bottom two vertices okay and i'm just going to go ahead and push them out a little bit like so just to give it an extra sort of roof feeling and i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with this one Okay, we can go ahead and do the same thing with this one as well. Well, we can even go ahead and add this a couple of extra loops, but for now, I'm not going to worry about it too much. And actually, I'm going to undo that as well. Now, I only have that for our um, bottom, the bottom two vertices. Let's go ahead and push this back where it needs to be. And let's go ahead and select these bottom two verts. And I'm just going to push them out a little bit like so. So now let's go ahead and give this guy a little bit of uh, thickness. And that should be very easy for us to do. Let's just go ahead and select the whole object and then hit extrude. 
And if you come down to your um, channel box, you can just go ahead and give this some thickness like so. Okay, and again, if it's jumping too much, you can go ahead and click this twice and then click that a couple of times until your little green is like a small slice of pie. Okay, and then click that again and that will go ahead and slow down your little slider. So you can go ahead and give this the right thickness that you need. Okay, so that looks great. That's a little roof. And now I'm gonna go ahead and um, go ahead and scale this this way so it looks more like a roof. Okay, let's go ahead and make sure that this lines up. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into my top view, turn on X-ray, so you can see what I'm doing. And let's go ahead and scale this down a little bit now. The reason why it's not scaling properly, it's because our pivot, if you notice, is not in the center. So let's go ahead and do that quickly. Go to modify and then center pivot. Go back into my top view. Make sure that this is lining up and now it's gonna go ahead and scale it from the center. Okay, so that looks great. Let's go ahead and smooth it and it's gonna turn into a blob like so. So let's go ahead and add in the supporting edges for this to go ahead and make sure that this will hold its shape. Okay, so it's a usual insert edge loop tool and I did not want to add one there. Let's go ahead and quickly deselect these and go back into our insert edge loop tool and make sure that we go ahead and reset it like so. Okay, so let's go ahead and add in these supporting edges and let me just deselect those faces while well, I should have done it for me, so it's fine. Okay, same thing on the other side. It's already done. I need them on the bottom here. Let's go ahead and smooth this to see how it's looking. Okay, so that's a lot more like what we were looking for. So let's go ahead and add in the um, bottom two edges as well. So I want this to stay hard and I want that to stay hard as well. Okay, so that looks great. Now if you notice again, this supporting edge slides all the way up. So let's go ahead and add in a couple of extra ones so this will hold its shape nicer. So again, I just add in two and then scale them out. Okay, and that looks a lot better now. Now let's go ahead and um, uh, instead of having this so soft, let's go ahead and harden this corner up a little bit. So let's go ahead and add in an edge loop or two edge loops and scale them out so, and see how that looks. Okay, I actually kind of prefer it um, when it's all rounded off. Or well, let's go see if you go ahead and add in make the edge even harder. Let's go ahead and see how that will look. Not very hard, but a bit harder. Let's go ahead and see how that will look. Okay, so I'll just leave that as it is for now so that, that, that will stay hard. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and push these verts in a little bit more so we get a nicer curvature. So I just selected all the vertices and then scaled them in. Okay. So that's great, we got our roof created. Let's go ahead and um, add in the sort of little extra window that we have here. So basically again, we could go ahead and use uh, a brand new mesh and create it from scratch. Or if you notice, this top half of this mesh is pretty much what we need. So I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate this rotate make sure that we go ahead and center the pivot okay so i'm going to go ahead and rotate this 90 degrees and then start scaling this down so again i'm reusing um geometry that we already created for this instead of going ahead and making one from scratch i'm going to go ahead and scale it down this way Okay, and basically this is uh, this is what I wanted. So let's go ahead and 
move this up a little bit more just so these um, top halves roughly line up and it doesn't matter because we'll have all these bits sitting on the top of this as well okay so let's go ahead and quickly add a window to this so I'm just going to go ahead and select this go into my side view turn on wireframe let's go ahead and duplicate scale it down and move it into position okay so that looks great let's go ahead and push this back in and there's a window for that as well okay so our little house is coming along nicely let's go ahead and add in the before we go ahead and move on to the top um, pieces of the roof let's go ahead and add in these extra little details on the side of the house that will give it a little bit more sort of a cartoony feel so let's go ahead and create um, a cube let's go ahead and scale it down and I use the same process for um, all of the cubes if you watch the uh, speed art um, you remember this bit so I just created a simple cube and then we're going to go ahead and give it the extra edge loops that it needs so it will hold its shape okay Oops, I've forgotten to add them on the bottom as well. Okay, and then basically we just go ahead and um, push these inside the mesh with having a little bit of it hanging out, like so. Okay, maybe a little bit less, something like that. And then what I go ahead and do is then I go ahead and duplicate this and I just start um, scaling it around or move the vertices around so I can go ahead and grab all those vertices and push it in or even maybe go ahead and push this guy down or so on. So I just try to create some uh, variation in between all these pieces. So maybe push this one in like so okay and then I'll go ahead and duplicate this and move it okay and maybe I want a, a, a lot smaller piece here so I'm just going to duplicate this scale and maybe I want this one to be higher so I just randomly start moving these um, bits around so I'll move Again, duplicate with Control D. Maybe I want this one to be longer. Or actually, I can go ahead and duplicate this one instead because it would be faster. And I can just select all these back vertices, push them here. Okay, and there's my next piece. So now I'll just go ahead and add loads of these little pieces to just give it some extra sort of detail. Okay, so maybe I want this one to be longer, but I want it to be shorter this way. And maybe I want it to be a lot shorter this way. And now I'll just go ahead and duplicate one of these guys and move it up. Okay, so you're just gonna go ahead and try to keep this uh, sort of random, randomly um, created or however or whatever sort of pattern you want to um, create maybe I'm, I'll make this one a lot higher but a lot thinner this way okay and you can go ahead and create loads of different sort of shapes so they don't have to be all um, re rectangular you can go ahead and create one that's a lot different but to save time, I'm just going to go ahead and keep this simple. Okay, so I have that as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this, and I want to go ahead and flip this. So I'm just going to go ahead and modify, center pivot, okay. And now I'm going to go to my Y, set minus in the Y, and also in the X. 
because I need to flip it that way as well. And then I'll go ahead and move this around. Okay, so very basic um, stuff. Let's see, let's make this one smaller. Now drag it out. Okay, so once you have um, one corner created, you don't really need to um, go ahead and um, do the same thing for the rest. What you can go ahead and do is um, to cheat uh, detail and to speed things up. I'm gonna go ahead and group all these guys together. Okay, so once you have that, as you see, the pivot flips around. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this in X. Well, first I should really go ahead and duplicate it and then flip minus one X. And we should really center our um, base house. So when we go ahead and do this, this will actually slide um, or line up exactly with the side. But for now, I'll just go ahead and move it manually. Okay. And then to go ahead and change it up a little bit, go ahead and um, only change a couple of them. So don't go ahead and change the whole pattern. Just go ahead and move around a couple of them, make a couple of them a little bit shorter or taller, just to go ahead and break up, um, just to go ahead and break up and it, it will go ahead and look a slightly different from the other side. So it will look a more um, random and not like you just duplicated it around. So maybe I'll go ahead and flip this one in the X and then move it that way. Okay, so once you have this, then what you're gonna go ahead and do is um, again, flip this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and duplicate. And I'm gonna flip it X minus one and now I'm gonna go ahead and flip it in Z minus one. Now we'll go ahead and flip this guy around or I should flip it around for us but let's go ahead and make sure that we're doing the right thing here. So let's go ahead and let me select this group again. And because our house is not in the center, there's the reason why this is not flipping around. So what we can do in this case, because we want to flip it to the back, we can go ahead and um, just move our whole house. So let's go ahead and group everything together. Okay, and then go to Modify, Center Pivot. And I'm gonna select this axis and hold down X and a middle mouse button on the center of the grid. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this axis. So I'm gonna select that axis, hold down X and middle mouse button on the center of our grid, okay? Just to line up our house because it will make our life a lot easier. So once we have that, we can go ahead and select our group again. Okay. But notice that because now we moved our house, our pivot stays exactly where it is and we want it to be in the center of the grid. So we can go ahead and press insert on our keyboard and hold down X and go ahead and snap it to the center of the grid. Okay. And press insert again. And then now we can go ahead and duplicate this flip it in X minus one and then flip it in Z minus one as well. And as you can see, that will nearly, <laughs> nearly go ahead and flip around to wherever need it. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and move this manually. Okay, so once we have that, let's go ahead and duplicate this guy and go ahead and plus one the X to go ahead and flip it around to the other side. And then again, you can go ahead and add in extra bits on the back here just to fill that out a little bit more. Or that's what I did in the in the speed art anyway. But I'm not going to go ahead and spend loads of time doing that. You can go ahead and do that in your own time now that you know the technique that we go ahead and use. Okay, so we added these extra details in for our house as well. And in the next part, we can go ahead and create the roof tiles, uh, move them around and we should be pretty much nearly finished with the modeling. And we'll go ahead and add some very simple shaders and create a very quick Maya default render that you can go ahead and um, show your friends what you created. So I hope you guys enjoy the series so far and I'll see you guys in the next part.